What's up guys, Stabs here, welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, what you guys are watching today is going to be some uh, comeback opening gameplay. And um, this is going to be a commentary, something I haven't really done in a long time. And uh, it's going to be a quick and short video, so hope you guys enjoy. And uh, the topic for our um, commentary today is going to be, has Call of Duty changed for um, forever? And uh, this is a question that I've actually been uh, being asked a lot. And I've been seeing people answer this, um, wondering the same thing. So uh, I've been wondering myself, has Call of Duty Advanced Warfare changed Call of Duty forever? And um, it depends how you kind of look at it, because... Um, for the exosuits, which is probably the main reason why everything has changed, is because of the movement in the game. And uh, the exosuits do help the game um, be more um, fast paced, uh, more tense, and um, like sometimes going back to Call of Duty Ghosts, I haven't really played it much, but uh, it just feels so slow. Like um, whenever I play, I just feel like everybody's camping. Uh, you don't get as much kills because it's so slow, and um, that's another reason because um, Advanced Warfare is such a fast-paced Call of Duty because of all the moving, all the boosts and stuff you could do, um, the uh, EXO abilities, and um, it changes the game a lot, and um, that's a lot different than we've seen than any other Call of Duty ever made because obviously there was no EXO suits. And, um, since it's being in the, um, advanced, like, in the future, maybe, like, I think it was, like, 30 or 40 years ahead, then there is exosuits, which, um, does change the pace of the game, like I said before. And, um, that really, really does change something, because, um, what about future Call of Duties? Like, we know that, um, Treyarch is developing a game right now, um, there's a three-year span, each, um, company makes a different Call of Duty a year, so it's a Treyarch's turn. And, um, people are saying that Black Ops 3 is in the making. And, um, how is that gonna turn out? Is it gonna be all futuristic and stuff too? Are we gonna be using exosuits? Or, uh, it could be completely different. And, um, since, um, exosuits are typically more advanced, um, are we gonna be seeing a, uh, few, um, a Call of Duty from the past, say, like, from a World War, or, um, Civil War type uh, anymore with exosuits. I don't believe so because the technology um, wasn't as advanced, um, obviously. And uh, how is this going to change Call of Duty? Because, uh, say, next Black Ops 3, if that doesn't have um, exosuits, is it going to be as fun to play? Is it going to be as fun to watch? And um, not having the exosuits, how is it going to be? It's probably going to be a slower paced game. Um, I don't even know if it's, uh, gonna be, like, one of those, um, games where people are actually gonna wanna play it. Like, um, from MW2 to MW3, I barely played MW3, I just got Black Ops 2. So, um, it's a big question going around in the community, and, uh, I do think that if other Call of Duties don't have exosuits, um, Advanced Warfare definitely did change the way, uh, Call of Duty is looked at, um, through people's eyes. Because if you're not gonna have exosuits, um, obviously you're gonna play different. Um, you just you're gonna you're not gonna be able to like climb on top of buildings, things like that. And um, it's just gonna change everybody's perspective through Call of Duty. So uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this question in the comment section below. Has Call of Duty Advanced Warfare changed Call of Duty forever? Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe if you.